Content is the foundation of our work. As GIS users, we all need access to useful and reliable maps and data. ArcGIS now includes an extraordinary collection of ready-to-use content. This content represents a living atlas of the world with maps, layers, and tools that can help you do your jobs more easily and effectively. The content in the Living Atlas is published by users, partners, and Esri. Increasingly, content in the Living Atlas is published by users such as NOAA, which provides access to real-time weather information. Content is also published by Esri partners, such as NearMap and Hexagon, which provide access to very recent high-resolution imagery that you can find in the ArcGIS marketplace. At Esri, we're building and maintaining a portfolio of content organized around different themes built with best available data from the GIS community. Many of you are familiar with our base maps, which con continue to grow steadily in usage, but we also provide access to other types of content, such as detailed demographics for the United States and other parts of the world. In addition, we provide access to content that describes human systems, such as live traffic and transportation access. Many of you are using our imagery base map, but we also provide access to multispectral and multi-temporal imagery with data sources such as NAEP and Landsat 8. We also provide content that describes natural and physical systems, such as elevation data for the world, which many of you are helping to enhance with detailed data for your local communities. Lastly, we provide many layers that describe our planet's current conditions, using live data feeds from organizations like the USGS and NOAA describing conditions like recent earthquakes and active weather watches. One of the projects we're most excited about this year is vector-based maps. Vector-based maps are provided in various styles. Some of these styles might be familiar to you, such as streets with relief or topographic, while others are new, such as navigation or streets at night. These styles are available through a vector-based map group in ArcGIS Online, which includes both maps and layers. Let's take a look at one of the maps, Streets at Night. The vector-based maps include all of the data that's contributed through our community maps program, such as here in Thailand. One of the great features of vector maps is that they can be very easily customized, including both symbols and content. For example, this is the same map of Bangkok in our street style and using local language labels. These are other examples of custom styles that have been created by users. Some are simple color variations, like the maps you see on the left, while others are more advanced types of restyling, such as the modern antique map that you see on the right. This map includes custom fonts and symbols, which is most notable in places like Frankfurt, Germany, another community maps contributor, where you can zoom in and see handcrafted symbols for features like landmarks and trees. Our most popular map is still our world imagery base map, with over one billion requests each week to this one map alone. Recently, we added several levels of detail to this map, down to two centimeter resolution. We now have several dozen communities around the world who are contributing data at these levels, such as here in the city of Riverside, California. We continue to update our base map every single month with content from very, very many contributors. In our June release, we updated the map to include large parts of imagery from 23 different states around the United States with data from the USDA Farm Services Agency. Now, if you look at this map, you might notice something just a little bit different. It's not our standard world imagery map. In response to feedback from many of you, we just released a new alternate version of our world imagery map it contains all of the same imagery as our standard map in Web Mercator, but is delivered in the WGS84 coordinate system preferred by many different GIS organizations. <laughs> Looking forward, we will continue to enhance the world imagery base map. As Jack announced earlier this morning, Esri has partnered with Digital Globe to provide access for all ArcGIS Online users access to their latest base map imagery. This multi-year partnership with Digital Globe will provide a steady stream of updated imagery for over 200 million square kilometers worldwide. The first updates for this will go online later this year. Now I want to show you just one last thing. As I mentioned earlier, the content in the Living Atlas is truly living. 
A great example of this is our newest live feeds map showing the U.S. national water model from the National Water Center. This map provides a 10-day forecast of water flow at three-hour intervals for the 2.7 million reaches of the United States. Areas of the river system below normal are shown in red, areas above normal in blue. This map is time-enabled so we can see how water pulses through the nation's river systems. On behalf of the Esri content team around the world, I'd like to thank all of our users and partners who've contributed their valuable maps and data to the Living Atlas, and we look forward to working with even more of you going forward to help it grow. Thank you.